Welcome to Thursday Night Vespers. I'm glad to see you here as we quiet and calm our minds headed into the evening of rest and relaxation. As we get ready to hear our scriptures, let us take three deep calming breaths together. Tell me why the stars do shine. Tell me why the ivy twines. Tell me why the sky is so blue. And I will tell you just why I love you. Because God made the stars to shine. Because God made the ivy twine. Because God made the sky so blue. Because God made you. That's why I love you. I do believe that God above created you for me to love. He picked you out from all the rest because God made you. I love Proverbs chapter 7, starting at verse 10. Then a woman comes towards him, decked out like a prostitute, wily of heart. She is loud and wayward. Her feet do not stay at home. Now in the street, now in the squares, and at every corner she lies in wait. She seizes him and kisses him. And with impudent face, she says to him, I had to offer sacrifices, and today I have paid my vows. So now I have come out to meet you, to seek you eagerly, and I have found you. I have decked my couch with coverings, colored spreads of Egyptian linen. I have perfumed my bed with myrrh, aloes, and cinnamon. Come, let us take our fill of love until morning. Let us delight ourselves with love, for my husband is not at home. He has gone away on a long journey. He took a bag of money with him. He will not come home until full moon. The beginning of Luke chapter eight. Soon afterwards, he went on through cities and villages, proclaiming and bringing the good news of the kingdom of God. The 12 were with him, as well as some women who had been cured of evil spirits and infirmities. Mary, called Magdalene, who'd have had seven spirits cleansed from her, and Joanna, the wife of Herod's steward Shuza, and Susanna, and many others who provided for them out of their resources. When a great crowd gathered and people from town after town came to him, he said in a parable, a sower went out to sow his seed, and as he sowed, some fell on the path and was trampled on, and the birds of the air ate it up. Some fell on the rock, and as it grew up, it withered for lack of moisture. Some fell among thorns, and the thorns grew around it and choked it. Some fell on good soil, and when it grew, it produced a hundredfold. As he said this, he called out, Let anyone with ears listen. Friends, thank you for joining me for Vespers again. I always love this time where we can listen to the word of our Lord together as we end our day and look forward to hopefully a restful night. As we close out our time together, I invite you to pray with me by repeating after me. Dear God, thank you for this day. Watch over me as I sleep and help me to be your child tomorrow. In your name I pray, amen. Good night, friends.